In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this responsive navigation bar. As you can see, we have the navigation links and the logo. And once the viewport gets smaller, we have this icon coming out. And when you click on it, there is this drop down menu with the hover effects. So let's get into it. First, we are going to create the navigation bar. Let's create a header with the class name header and create a logo with the class of logo. And the navigation links, let's create a nav with the class of navbar. Let's create like four links, services, projects, and contact. And we also gonna need a icon for the menu. And for that, we are going to use box icons. You can find the link in the description to this website. Click on usage. And copy this link and paste it inside the head section. And let's look for the menu icon. Let's copy this one. We're gonna copy the font. Paste it inside the header and let's also give it a ID so we can style it and that is it with the HTML so let's open the CSS file so I reset the margin and padding and set the text decoration to none first we are going to style the header say position fixed top 0 left 0 and with 100% padding 3em to 8 so we have 3 em space at the top and the bottom and 8 on the sides. And let's set the background color, this nice orange red. And let's make it a flex box. So I want to separate this logo and the list items. And for that, we are going to use justify content space between. And it is basically going to put space between these two elements, but it doesn't quite work right now because we have the icon so let's style the icon and make it invisible real quick let's make it bigger color white and we're gonna say display none and let's also align this logo and the list items so let's say align item center let's make the logo bigger color white and make it bolder and the anchor tags, let's make them bigger and white. And let's create some space between them. Increase the font weight. And for the hover effect, we're going to give it a transition. So this transition is going to make the hover effect smoother. And we also need a transparent border for the hover effect. And when you hover over it, we're going to make it white like this. So we are done with the basic styling and now we're going to set the responsiveness. So the number here, this is the width of this viewport. And once it gets below 950, we are going to make that icon appear and make this list items disappear. So we're going to say media max width 950 and the menu icon I'm gonna say display block so if you remember we made it display none so it become invisible and now once the viewport gets below this number it is going to be visible and we're gonna style the nav bar so let's say position absolute top 100 percent right zero with 100% align the text on the center and we're gonna give it this nice border and a little border radius at the bottom padding and we're gonna make the background color white and it is going to be invisible for now and once this navbar gets the class of active, we are going to make it visible. 
So this may not make any sense right now, but once we write the JavaScript, I'm going to explain why we created this active class. And let's also style the anchor tags. I'm going to make them display block two, the same orange color. And the same hover effects. So if you click on this icon, nothing's going to happen because we didn't set the function yet. And to create that kind of function, we got to use JavaScript. So let's create a JavaScript file, script.js, and link it inside this index.html at the bottom. So this is going to be really, really simple. All we need to do is to put this icon and this navbar inside two variables. So let's create a variable for the icon and for the navbar. And we're going to put the icon inside this variable using query selector. And the navbar as well. And we're going to set this really simple function for the menu icon. So when you click on it, we are going to execute this function, which is going to be a toggle function. So basically, when you click on this icon, this class you can see here, bx-menu, is going to change to bx-x, which is a x icon, and we can actually search for it. As you can see here, we have the same class, bx, bx-x. So when you click on it, it is going to be a x icon. And to make this navbar visible, we need to add the active class. Like this. So now, when you click on it, this icon turns into x and this menu comes up. So let's quickly recap what we just did. We put this icon and this navigation bar into two variables and we create this function for the menu icon. When you click on it, the icon turns into x icon and navbar gets the class of active. This styling gets applied. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.